This is a stickered GAN XS. I wanted a stickered GAN XS. This is not a stickered GAN XS. These are GAN XS stickers. What's up YouTube? And in this video, I'll be converting this Chi Wu Wei M into a stickered GAN XS. Now I was gonna get the GAN XS, but I thought I only average about 28 seconds and it's really expensive. So do I need a cube that good? And the answer is no. Well, without further ado, I'm gonna gently peel off the stickers. I really shouldn't have clipped my nails for this. I would use an X-Acto knife, but I'm scared I'll dig into the plastic accidentally. Now to apply the stickers. For this part, I'm gonna use my X-Acto knife and gently peel off one single sticker and place it on the cube very carefully. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. First side done, and it looks a little bit sloppy, but I'm okay with it. It's my first go at stickering a cube. Now I've done 4x4 four four enough to not mess this up, so after blue comes orange. The 
last step, of course, is to add the Speed Cube Shop sticker. There we are. Let's do a comparison of the Chi Wu Wei M before and after the restickerification process. Now the GAN excess magnets are actually clear ovals, but I like the round yellow magnets that you can find in the other GAN magnetic cubes. As I mentioned in my introduction video, I went through a cars phase, and from that I have these stickers with a yellow background. So what I did is I hole punched the area around the cars using a hole puncher, and those are gonna be my round magnets. Here is my magnet. After trying a bit more, the magnet thing didn't work out with the loop that is inside of the cube. But I suppose if you wanted to, you could dry your cube out and then put fake GAN magnets inside. So there you have it, my GAN XS that I made for a third of the price. If you're still here, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like and subscribe. If not, that's okay. And remember, just keep on rolling.